Hello Rust Club and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to install Wii March, which is the revival of the Wii Shop channel in 2025. So here is the uh, the Wii Mart page, which will be in the link in the description. So you're going to see these five tabs at the top and we're going to click the one that says install. And it will ask you which platform you're going to do the patch on. So I'm going to be going over the Wii version in this tutorial, although you could probably follow along pretty well with the virtual Wii. But I don't know much about Dolphin, so you might have to find external sources to figure out how to do that one. So we're going to go with the Wii. And then for the Wii, the two uh, files you're going to want to download are iOS 56 and then download Wii Mart. So we're going to click on the first one and save that to our Chromebook or whatever that we're using. And then we're going to download the Wii Mart file and download that. So now that that is downloading, when it's done, we'll just open it up and then we're just going to drag it onto our SD card. So we're going to show in folder. And here we have these two files. So we're going to take um, both of them and drag them onto the root of our SD card. And now that they're on our SD card, and we can make a new folder and we're going to name it w a d s or wads and then what you're going to do is drag those two files into that folder so now you have this wads folder on your sd card now if you've been modding in the past you might have other folders for other things but there should be a new wads folder and if you already have done wads in the past then just add those two wads to your original wad folder and then while we've done that we can go back to this download page and now we need to download yom uh, which is an application for Homebrew that will actually let us install the WADs uh, on the Wii directly. So we're going to download and then this yam dummy edition dot zip and we're going to download that file as well and we're going to save it. Now we go back to files, downloads and we should get this yam zip and there should be an apps folder with it inside. So we're going to drag that apps to the SD card and if you already had an apps folder you can just take what the uh, the yum me uh, file that's in the apps and just drag it into your original apps folder or if you are doing this on Windows you can just merge the two folders as well and it will work just fine so these are the two files that we need on our SD card although you could have others and now that we've done that we're gonna head over to our Wii now that we are over on our Wii, we are going to go to the Homebrew channel. And we, as we can see, we have the Yom Mod Me Edition here. And we're going to load that up. And here is Yom Mod Me Edition. So we are going to be using an SD card today. So we're actually going to press A on the SD card slot, but if we were using a USB um, to do all of our homebrew stuff, then we could use that instead and press A on this, but we're using an SD card, so we're going to go and press A. Now make sure you're using an official Wiimote for this process, because it might not actually work with an unofficial one. So now we're going to go to the WADS, um, the WADS folder that we created earlier, and press A. And then we have to install both of these, so just hover over the first one and press A and then it will tell you to uninstall or uninstall the wad but I've already installed both of these wads so I'm just going to not install but you'll just press A and then wait for it to be done and say press any button to continue then I'll go to the other one press A and then press A to install the wad um, and then press A once it's done but now that I've done that we're gonna press B B and then now that we're at this page again we're gonna press home to restart the Wii back to the homebrew channel now we can exit to system menu and we're loading back up all right now if we just go to the we shop channel which normally would not let you go in or will let you go in but only let you do minimal things but now if we go back in it should tell us that we have entered Wii Mart. So I'm going to skip at this part. And here we are. It's going to say Wii Mart in the top left corner and saying checking if you're registered. Now it could like say error and stuff like that 
and all you have to do is uninstall the wads and then reinstall them again or maybe try different wads um, so there was like different wads on there that you can try that maybe would work or sometimes you had just maybe you can check on the discord which I will leave in the description for the we mark discord for any troubleshooting that you may have and boom here it is click start shopping and here it is so you just can select whatever one you want so let's just say I wanted to uh, go to virtual console then you can select anything you want so I'm gonna go to popular titles it's gonna load here and oh my gosh the music and everything is just all copy and paste it and it looks exactly like it did back in the day I mean and they uh, the Weimart team even added like custom uh, games to the uh, the Weimart channel which I think is pretty unique um, and I definitely don't see them stopping anytime soon because they've added quite a few in the past so it'd be kind of cool so let's just download something to uh, see how it works so let me just pick out a good one I love Metal Slug 2 why not so we're just gonna click on it it will tell us how many players it's for you can also click view compatible controllers And it will tell you, so this is compatible with the Wiimote, probably sideways, classic controller, and the game controller. And then you just click download. And then you can install to your SD card or your recess memory, depending on whichever you one you want. Um, so let's just say I want to install it to the Wii system memory. It will tell us how many pre points it takes to download, and the blocks after download and all that stuff. So the blocks is the amount of space on your Wii or SD card. So you got to make sure you don't run out of space or anything like that. So we're just click yes. Oh, here we go. And then you will see one of the best download screens of all time. Not this, obviously. This is just boring. But in a couple seconds, it will show Nintendo in its glory fashion. So this is actually a download page. And when he hits one of these blocks, that means he's a third of the way done with the download. So when he hits this first one, he'll be a third of the way done, second, and then when he starts spamming this last block, then that means he's done with the download. So I'm just going to skip to the end of this. And it looks like it's almost done. He's spamming this block and it's about to do like a white uh, fade out. Yeah, there it is. And boom it's done download successful you can click OK now also the thing they added with Weimart is obviously they can't make you pay for anything so you just gonna continue there so you, when you add Wii points um, you can just add them so you click add Wii points and then just select any amount so you just go with 5,000 here and then Visa and it tells you to not enter your credit card information. Wii points don't cost money. So it's just going to randomly enter stuff. And then just click OK. Like you don't have to actually enter your credit card information. And then obviously it just doesn't. Like there's no amount in the tax. It's just. Because it's just. Uh, it would be a scam if they made you have to pay for it. And so there. Yeah. Then you just add the Wii points. So when you first boot it up. You'll probably have zero. So you can just add it like that. And then you can go and browse whatever you want. So now let's actually go back to the Wii menu to see if our our game downloaded and let's see if it works. Back to the Wii menu. And it should be on the second page. Yeah, here we go, Metal Slug 2. Dang, Neo Geo, released in 1998, and then one to two players. Yeah. It just has the same classic look as it would as it normally would and then you just click start now loading okay 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 I mean the fact that the Weimart team was able to do this I mean, blows my mind. like there have been people who have been trying to reach revive the uh, the Wii Shop channel for a long time now and that they finally done it and it's just super cool to me so we're just click game start Oh shoot, wait. Oh, it's a little bit different. I was pressing the wrong button. Mission one. I was pressing a plus, which is normally the start button for other games. 
But yeah, that is... That is Metal Slug in all of its glory. And, oh yeah, the fact that it pauses and you can still see the game, that's really cool. And yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Make sure to do all the YouTube stuff on your way out, like, subscribe, whatever. And tell me down in the comments if there's any stuff you want to see in the future, maybe some fun WiiWare games you want to see me play. But any of that, that is going to be it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!